A new bill signed by Governor Kemp could benefit Georgia's student athletes at the collegiate level for years to come by allowing them to earn money for their name, image and likeness. Caleb Solomon talked to one former student athlete who says this bill can change lives. For Kemion Holsey, going from Sparta to Georgia Tech to play basketball was an adjustment. It was tough because uh, I, mean, I come from a rural area. I always had working class parents, but at the end of the day, uh, I put in a lot of work. I mean, my schedule from like 6 in the morning to 8 at night is nonstop. Current NCAA rules say student athletes cannot be compensated, but also cannot work full-time jobs if they're on scholarship. Hulsey says that was frustrating. We're selling tickets. People come to see us play. Uh, so, I mean, we don't get no piece of the pie. I mean, just think about it. Uh, if you was uh, playing M NBA and they were saying they won't pay you, they'll pay you $40,000 a, uh, a year instead of paying you uh, $2 million a year. But House Bill 617 changes that in the state of Georgia. Student athletes from across the country will have Georgia on their mind when they're looking for a campus and a university that can give them a world-class education but also the chance to compete at the highest levels of college athletics. The bill will allow college athletes to get paid for the use of their name, image, and likeness. Holsey says this money could help student athletes pay for food, clothing, and their families back home. He said it could also motivate them. And it may make them even work even harder, because like you said, when I started playing professionally, uh, being that I was getting paid, my passion always been there, but when somebody said they're going to pay you, you're going to go a little harder, so that's a blessing and uh, it's a good opportunity for them. The bill adds that students who get compensated cannot get their scholarships taken away and must take financial literacy and life skills workshops for a minimum of five hours at the beginning of the student athletes first and third academic years. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. House Bill 617 goes into effect July 1st and will allow student athletes to profit off everything from social media revenue to jersey sales.